three manager. Uh, let's go. Let's see, get a good spot for it. Here we go. And new game. Do you want to start a new game? Yes. Chapter one, the event. The merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its continents. Contents. We live on a placid island of arrogance in the midst of Black Sea of Infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. H.P. Lovecraft said that on Twitter. On a continent? I mean, I do. Alright, I am waking up in a cave. Somebody hanging upside down. That's nice. Where am I? What am oh. I doing here? Why do I see my mouse? I don't I don't care for that. Alright, something's wrong. Oh, I need to, I think I need to close out the game altogether. I closed it, but I still hear it. I'm trying. Stop. I can't close it. There it goes. Potato, 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 potato. Hey, everything is breaking on my computer. That's Alright, let's see if I can find Alien Cube somewhere, because it's not in running. It's running in the background process somewhere. Huh. There we go. Let's try it one more time. Hopefully this time uh, my mouse isn't in the middle of the screen. <laughs> you know what's up, Rachel? Okay. Right, maybe I just need to not uh, minimize the screen, I guess. All right. Okay. So far, so good. Where am I? There we go. What am I doing here? The man in the picture is me. How is that possible? What's that place? This dude looks alive and I can't get to him. Oh, hello. It's a bloody skull. What sort of creature is this? Its appearance gives me the shivers. Okay. Do I need to... Okay. 
see, I got some stuff here. Examine. How did I get here? What is this place? Got some bottles. I got a bloody bit. Is that my blood? How did I get here? What is this place? Yeah, I can do some games with you whenever you get on. 10, 11 o'clock. Ooh, can I get out? From here I can see outside, but the crack is too small to get through. I must find another way. Well, here we go. That looks poisonous down there. What are these gears for? It seems there is some huge machinery behind this wall. I know that crack did look plenty big enough to squeeze through or widen. All right, we got a lever. Doesn't work. It seems a gear is missing. That don't sound good. gear. Let's go look to see what that was. Mm -hmm. Guess it was nothing. Just my imagination. <laughs> Alright, let's open this door. Unnecessary brightness. Mm. Looks uh, like a pretty beautiful game. And we got water. Can I drown? No, not in this water. Oh wait, can I crouch? No, not in the water. Out for the light wool. <laughs> Even being the wolf again, bodies. Ooh. I'm surprised my graphics card can handle all of this. Oh, statuette. I have found a secret. like a nice bridge. What's okay. going on? Oh my god! No, no, no! Yeah, this game likes to be bright. Pretty sure I'd be dead? Came in fast and hit not that far. Now there's a, another sun in the sky. dream. It's my cube. Aliens can't have it. Was I dreaming? Shoot. Oh. What time is it? Eight o'clock. You have a clock, dude. Well, they can't have it. It's my cube. It's me cube. Just 
to open and close my journal. Oh. Tonight I find myself writing on the pages of my journal once more, hoping it helps me to fall asleep and to find peace again. Nights are troubled by sudden and unexplainable awakenings more and more often. Immediately afterwards, bathed in sweat, I feel terribly tired and have an unpleasant feeling that I've experienced something upsetting that I don't remember. Second thoughts, though all of this could be due to recent events, the breakup with Jenny, the move, and finally my uncle Edgar's disappearance. The latter event in particular must have upset me more than I had expected. Considering the unclear nature of the facts, what the newspaper reports is very strange indeed. Oh God knows what happened to him. Only God knows. Oh God. My new home hasn't helped to improve my situation. Perhaps it's just too early and I need more time. Milk, eggs, juice, dish, soap, rat poison. And I gotta call Pete back. Oof. What do you think? I can't stop thinking about that dream. It was as if the strange object was calling to me. I'm feeling a deep prim primordial instinct that disturbed me. Who's at the door? Oh, it's probably the postman. Hey, Mr. Postman. Oh, he's gone. Oh. Edgar's letter. Author, my dear nephew, if you are reading this letter, it means that I am gone. I gave instructions to a close friend, close friend to deliver this message to you in the event that something bad should happen to me. In the last few years, we lost contact with one another. I know, and I'm sorry for that. My life changed a lot, and I'm only a shadow of the man you knew when you were a child. I know that it was hard for you not knowing who your mother was, especially after your father's death. I haven't always been there for you, but I was going through a rough patch. I hope you can forgive me for that. As you know, I have never been married or had children, so I decided to leave you all my possessions, even though I don't own a lot. Your inheritance consists of my apartment and the old cabin in the mountains, which used to belong to your grandparents. This is all I have left. The apartment is situated in the building at number 13 old wood street in winter falls it's quite old and in bad condition but i could not afford anything better amongst all my belongings you will probably find some things you won't be able to make sense of i ask you to discard everything without question i'm referring in particular to my manuscripts they are very personal and as you will Perhaps have been told writing was my only solace in my darkest days. I ask you, therefore, not to read them and not to de delve into my research. Get rid of everything that nothing can be found, and you will find the apartment key in this envelope. Do what you desire with it, but I beg you, respect my last wish. I don't think we're going to respect his last wish. I'm trying this with the controller. It's a letter from Edgar. It seems that he left the old flat in town to me. I didn't expect that, but I better go there immediately. Okay, no, I'm not doing controller. Don't read my courage. The friendly dog erotic fanfic, please. Can't go without my with my pajamas on. Why not? I went to the store today with pajamas on. Fun fact. Quick story. I get up to go to the store and realize I'm wearing pajama pants. And I decided that I just didn't want to change. So I went. I don't know if that was a good impression or not, but I tried it. It will be a long trip. I better take my cassette player so I can listen to some good music. Where is it? Computer. The Land of Pain. That's a spiritual successor to this game, apparently. Well, there's a cassette. Books. Clock. Lots of cassettes. Boxes. 
Where'd you put your cassette player, my dude? In here? Next to the clock? No? No? Really, do you need your cassette player to go somewhere? Hmm. Listen to music while you poop. Tub full of water? Yeah. Well, I'm looking for my cassette player, so this is in oldie times. Oh, there we go. My cassette player. I'm not going anywhere without that. Okay. Can we go now? It'll... Okay. There we go, finally. Uncle Edgar disappeared more than a week ago, yet I just received a letter from him only to find out that I'm his sole heir. It's such a long time since I last saw him. I was only a child at that time. He must have been fond enough of me to leave me his possessions as a legacy. I have never seen where he moved to in the last few years, but after having driven for many hours, I have finally reached my destination. <laughs> Chapter 2, putting the pajamas back on. Uh, da da da. The address you give me here, the old building in the worst district in Winterfall. The apartment should be up there on the top floor. Wow, not kidding. This is a, uh. Here it is. The lights were on all this time. <laughs> what the hell is going on? to be so creaky doesn't work what happened to his mirror oh, we got a page a page from Edgar's journal finally after many years I have returned to the old family home unfortunately when I arrived I saw that nothing at the house was left everything had been reduced to a sad pile of rubber however it was there, among all the debris, that I found that strange chest. Although clearly very ancient, it was exquisitely crafted, made from fine wood, and decorated with strange geometric symbols that I had never seen before. At first, I didn't notice this, as when I was a child, I was used to seeing all kinds of bizarre objects around the house. Found who, know, found who knows where by my father during one of his countless journeys. The chest, however, had something sinister and mysterious about it. So I decided to extract it from the debris, try to open it. I hope that writing this journal will help me overcome my shock at my discovery because what I found inside that terrible chest is not something that could belong to this world. I like how they really upped up where you can like play all the pianos that you find in games. That's weird, there's no handle. The hell? What the heck? Uh, it's not very cool. Could you not? All right, I guess let's go through. Well, that's a uh, that's mold right there. Definitely do, should do something about the mold. I really just ate that. Oh, that food was spoiled. I shouldn't have eaten that. Why would why would that be an option? Lower the painting. I can't move it. It's firmly fixed to the wall. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Let's see what's going on here. 
Oh, what's that disgusting substance? It smells terrible. I don't like the idea either, but I can try to get through the hole. Well, let's look around first before... Let's see if there's any more food in the garbage. Any food? Any more food? No. Nope. Just gonna be going along and die of dysentery. Go through. Yo! I got kicked in the face. That guy did not want me coming into his apartment. Wasn't very nice. <laughs> Didn't like you stealing his last slice of pizza. You make more noise standing up so he knows that you're awake. Ooh, we got all sorts of goodies here. It's locked. I have to find a way to get out of here. Yeah, I'd say so, my dude. Can I crouch here? No. Aha. If the gray looks weak, I might be able to break it with a kick. And I can. Go through. The passage is very narrow, but I have to try. Nice, a toilet. <sighs> Documents. Journal of Member of the Order, October 30th. The disappearance of old William's son, Edgar Mitchell, caused us quite a few problems. It has been hard to keep track of every officer, but fortunately they didn't find out anything at the scene of the fire. The purpose of that building must remain secret at all costs. The moment the case is in the hands of our men and the police, the detectives won't set foot in the territories anymore. However, we must find out what happened to Edgar and close the case before someone else snoops around. We'll start by checking his apartment. November 5th, we have proof of the existence of God's eye. The priestess was right. During the inspection of Edgar's apartment, we found some papers belonging to his father, Old William. Everything suggests that he was in possession of the sacred artifact without us knowing it. How is it possible that such a trusted member of the order betrayed us? We're trying to understand where his hiding place is. All signs point to a location out of town where there used to be an ancient village inhabited by our ancestors. Okay. Yeah, that's some pictures. Okay. Why they are spying on Uncle Edgar? Who are these people and what are they looking for? We got a lot of drugs. Oh, that's the hole I came through. It's locked. Anything in the toilet? No? Okay. Oh, we can go back to the apartment, I guess. Oh, I got a screwdriver. Nice. Okay. Lift this up so I don't have to crawl through. Great me in the mouth. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what shiny thing is in here. Small key. All right, what's the small key to? Door without a handle? Nope. Can't move it, it's firmly fixed to the wall. Alright, what's locked? What needs a key? Okay, can't open you. Nothing in the fridge I can eat. I just say nugs? I don't want to go through. Alright, what's this key gonna be to? Can't turn on the TV. Radio's broken. D 
do feel like there was... Oh, the drawer. Journal. A page from Edgar's journal. At the horrific discovery, finding the answers to my questions became a real obsession. So I started to study my father's old papers in depth. My research uncovered the existence of a mysterious order. Its origins are extremely ancient, but apparently it still exists today. Indeed, I found clear reference to it in my father's notes. And it seems that he was even a member. I also found out that in addition to the old cabin in the mountains, my father owned many other properties scattered around the area. I didn't even know. Why didn't he tell me about them? There was only one place in particular that was very important to him, and it seemed that he did everything to keep it secret. I made a map showing its location. I'm going there immediately. All right. That's some map. I better be go right there. I'll come back here later. Those who have imprisoned me here are hiding there. If I hurry, I can arrive first and find out what's going on. Okay. There's no phone line. Oh, wait. That horse. Is there a certain way to put it that I can take this picture off the wall, maybe? Nope. Maybe this one? Alright. And, whoop. Try the last direction. Four giggles. Nope. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here then. There's a gnome! I found a secret. Alright, exit. See if we can get there before them, I guess. Chapter 3, The Secret Location. The road is getting arduous, but I should be almost there. My grandfather's secret place should be in the valley near an ancient castle not far from here. With a bit of luck, I should be able to arrive there before anyone else. Those who captured me are heading right there. I don't know why he thinks that. I don't remember. Chain's gonna keep me out. That's locked. The engine's still warm. Someone got here before me. I mustn't get caught. Okay. Hey, this looks like where that thing crashed. The cube. I think. Mm, maybe not. I don't know. No trespassing. It's a sign. It's not the boss of me. My grandfather's property should be behind that old building over there. Ooh. It's like I can fall to my death. Reaction, I feel like. Ah, oh, my head, what happened? Did I have a hallucination? Quite some hallucination. Can I push this tree over or something? Yep. Ugh. <sighs> 
Like, even if you did that, would you really walk across this? Okay. Not even a problem. What do we got over here? That's oh, just a yellow rock. I don't... I think I'd be like, oh man, there's no bridge. I guess I'm going home. Yeah, I have ten bears we're chasing. Yeah, then... See, and at this point right here, I'd be like, well, I guess I'm going home. Well, there's no floor. I guess I'm going home. Don't really have a map. Or a flashlight, I came very unprepared. There's plenty of torches. This is a, a creepy looking tree, ain't ya? Oh, we got a campsite. Can I step on the fire? Ah, it does hurt! Fuel. I now have fuel. Explorer's Journal. We have found a wonderful place for camping. Apparently it's right here among these mountains that those strange events occur. Last night we spotted strange lights in the woods. It seems the stories told about these forests are true. We immediately focused the telescope on the point where the light beams appeared. And we, when we looked through it, none of us could believe our eyes. We were all shocked. How come that planet was so close to Earth? And how does one explain that it's not there anymore? What we have seen makes no sense. Something very strange is up there. Let's take a look. Is it that is that a planet? I'm assuming that in the lower left is a planet or a smudge? Hmm. Okay. Whatever floats your goat. Yeah, nice little spring here. Nice, I can swim. That is a skeleton. He was not good at swimming. He drowned in very shallow water. He didn't have anything on him. Okay. Now I'm wet. Alright, let's go in. His head was next to him. I wonder if I should have tried to pick up his head. But I already have fuel. Why are the lights hanging from the bottom of this? It's like a pit. Explorer's Journal. These places are full of secrets. We are all excited. At night, we observe the sky and those mysterious lights, while during the day, we explore these magnificent tunnels. The whole area is full of these underground galleries. It will take days and days to explore them. They're of immense value. Who knows what kind of ancient discoveries we might find deeper inside. It's said that there are ancient underground cities here connected to each other by a network of tunnels that were populated by obscure cults in recent, in recent history. <clears throat> However, no human being has gone into the depths to confirm this bizarre theory. These tunnels are very dangerous indeed as they could collapse at any moment, not to mention the risk of falling into one of those ravines. Rosa scared me when she said that she had heard a strange voice coming from the depths of the abyss. Who knows what she really heard, but it was probably just a poor animal who had fallen down there.
Inestimable. Well, I died. That was a trick lover. I missed the board. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on, I got this. <laughs> okay. Hang on, I got it this time. I think I'm just doing it wrong. There's gotta be something else over here, something to collect, right? Oh my god, stop opening the page. Here, no. Like, who would build this lever? All right, let's go see if we can grab that guy's head. I guess. Or wait, no, there was another switchback, wasn't there? I think so. Yeah, right here. Let's see what's up the green mist way. Hey, it's a generator. I just so happen to have some gas. Oh, there's a lot of dynamite there too. She's burned like a kitten. That's next to a lot of dynamite. You're right. I got a feeling, uh. Oop. Oop, yep, yeah, that's a lot of fire. Oh, okay, cool. I can get out before the entire place goes, uh. <laughs> Alright, I gotta run. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Hurry. Hurry! There isn't time, it's inestimable. Don't stop. All right, awesome. I've successfully snuck onto the property. What the hell happened over there? Who was that guy? Pretty sure he's thinking about the same thing. Like, what the hell happened over there? Why'd everything just explode? Did somebody mess with my dynamite pile? My leg broken? I can't run. I need some old pizza. Yeah, I am hurt. It's locked, damn. I have to find a way to get past the fence. I hope that in the building there's something I can use to heal myself. I need the za for the heals. Dow! Dow! Oh, almost fell. Jump! Don't be a sissy. I know whenever I like break a bone, I'm just like, man, I hope there's something over there that can heal me. Maybe it's a cube. There's some cube drawings. It's got faces. I, I can't stand still because my leg is broken. Medicine cabinet. First aid kit. Nice. The first aid kit had everything I needed. My leg is better now. Nice. Try 
drawer. Cassette. Uh, the Persibis from the outside. know if this is going to have anything of value. Persipis. I don't know what that is. Persipisipi. It's a Persipisipi. Mamma mia. Oh, Grandfather Williams Journal. Press I puss. Press I puss. Pressibus. Is that how you spell Pressibus? We have so little knowledge of the world around us. I did not know that. It looked foreign to me. Uh, the vision of the sacred places have finally begun. The distorted reality they reveal is extremely fascinating. But was... But what I experienced real or was it in my head? I could feel clearly that my body was there. That it was part of that place. Next time I'll record everything with my voice recorder. Cho is drying. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, okay. Hang on. Uh, okay. Blah, 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 blah. This has words on it. I came here to... Find a cube, not read, okay? Well, break them then, dude. Sir. <laughs> oh, thank you. Ah, uh, is it possible to drink? I guess I'll stream us playing Dead by Daylight again, too. Might as well just stream all night. Uh, what the hell's inside those containers? I don't know. Looking for, like, an axe or something. I'm not listening to that again. It's the Persipus from outside. Nothing? Alright, there's gotta be something out here, then. Aha! An axe. Got it. Hopefully this can break some boards. Nice. Sounds like it worked. Here we go again on my own. Blah, blah. Alien Cube is all I want to own. Grandfather Williams Journal. It's all true. I managed to record everything. This is the confirmation I was looking for. I never imagined I would one day be walking right there in the outside. That place lives beyond description. There's one thing I shouldn't underestimate, though. If I can see it, I can be seen too. Next time, I will have to tread very carefully if I want to go deeper. Something must have noticed my presence during the exploration. I sensed a dreadful, malignant presence that I still can't explain. That gaze, I can still feel it upon me, even now while I'm writing this journal. That's a lot of whispering. Oh, 
going to kill him. Object. It's me, Mikiyum hurts! Ooh. This looks like a good pool to take a nap in. God, my head. What happened to me? Did I faint? I have to take this strange object out of here and study it in the light. Why? Why do you have to do that? How do we even get out of here? It's not through that crack. Oh, there's stairs. Guess I didn't need to bring a flashlight. Yeah, they do sound like they're moving. Nice. It's already nighttime? How's that possible? I must have been out for many hours. Better go back to Uncle Edgar's apartment. I'll be able to study the cube there. Alright, let's go back. I don't know how we're going back, considering we jumped across a ravine. A precipice, if you will. And, uh... Broke our leg. Hey, it's the explorer's tent. No, no, never mind. Oh, I'm back at the entrance. Nice. How convenient. Ooh, that kind of scared me. I was a bit startled. What the? My car is Where's gone. My car. Dude, where's my car? So do I gotta walk back? Gonna check out this house. Uh, okay. I think they built their house on a ravine. Bold choice. Jesus. We got some rain. Door I can't open. The fuck? Oh god, I'm being chased. Yo. No. Good timing. Oh. That was all a dream. My car, but how come I wasn't here before? Was everything even real? I don't understand what's happening to me. Let's go back to Edgar's apartment and learn more about this strange artifact. Okay. Weird. Chapter 4, Back to Edgar's. 
The members of the Order are everywhere, and now they know I'm in possession of the cube. I'm lucky to have found it before they did. From now on, I must be careful. These people are fanatics, and I mustn't allow them to catch me. I'm sure I'll find more information in Edgar's apartment. I hope it's safe there. Why would it be safe there? You got kicked in the face at Edgar's apartment. It is not safe. Excuse me. And how do they know you got? How do you know that they know that they got the, the quest for more pizza? Like it doesn't make sense. Why would they know that you have the cube? You don't even know that guy who was chasing you was real. I'm not reading all of that. I have to find a safe place to hide the cube? Uh, am I hiding it out here or inside of Edgar's apartment? Where the hell is a safe place to hide the cube? Is there like a hole in the wall somewhere? Oh wait, hang on. No? Not the vent, not the tube, not with the gnome. Here, no, not in this makeshift bed out in the hallway. Okay, let's go downstairs, I guess. Unless I can open this window. Stop trying to read the newspaper. Oh, I can go upstairs now. I'll hide the cube here until I do my research in Edgar's apartment. I might find the answers I've been looking for. Nice. Water, beer, soda, limo. Holy crap! That actually scared me. Alright, let's see. Mechanism. There's a strange mechanism fitted into the wood. Something has been removed showing the gears. Alright, so I need a... Something to go onto that. Oops, I didn't mean to keep turning you. See this picture looks askew now, it wasn't before. Can I take this picture off yet? Oh, there's a strange crack beneath the painting. Maybe I can move it. I can't move it. All right. All right, let's look in the other rooms before I go through. Uh, I can feel something strange when I'm getting near this mirror. Okay. That's the same page we've already read. Doesn't work. Come on! There's mold and dirt everywhere. Did Uncle Edgar ever clean? Jesus. Pretty gross looking. Okay. 
All right. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, I thought that dog statue could go where that thing was. We got a flask. Let's close the door. Is there anything behind the door? No. Flask. We got some paintings. Weird light. All right, through the hole. Water. <laughs> <laughs> Did that say lemon? <laughs> Alright, what do we got over here? Here we go, there's my statuette that I need. There we go. Ding ding. Okay, can I move the thing now? We got a cassette. The outside, May 14th, 1974. I mean, that's just what outside sounds like, right? I mean, that's, yeah, it's like I'm out on my front porch right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we don't need to listen to all that. Lever, there's a lever here. That's weird. That's not as weird. Alright, so we got a secret room. Page from Edgar's journal. Was that place really my father's secret hideout? It's difficult to believe, but everything suggests it was. I tried to bring as many things as I could with me to examine them here in my study. Many of his notes are written in languages that I don't know. However, this is his handwriting, I'm sure. Those bizarre photos did nothing more than lead me to ask more questions. Those landscapes are so surreal. And what the hell are those huge structures in the distance? It looks like my father was doing research into an ancient artifact and it's connected a connection to some mysterious places populated by some sort of horrible beings. But what does all this mean? What was he really working on? In the shed, there were some strange statuettes and an old cassette, too. I brought them here to study them. <gasps> Hide yourself! They're here! Very snarly. Do no other people exist in this world? Just me and monsters? Like, do they just walk up to the top floor of this apartment building in full monster form? Is it safe to get out? Let's try. The chest is secured with some strange mechanism. I need to force it with something. Okay. Oh. We can go to the attic. I don't know how many apartments have an attic, but this one does. Well, here we go. 
The strange contraption is the most mysterious object that I took from my father's secret hideout. What's its function? It seems that it allows the creation of small magnetic field, but something's missing for sure. There was an ancient metal door near the hideout, but I wasn't able to open it. It may lead deep into the mountain, and what I need is probably right there. The whole area is full of tunnels and old galleries. People say that in those mountains there's a huge web of underground passages that stretch for miles. But now that I think of it, the family cabins is not far from that place. It's right at top of the mountain. What if somehow everything's connected by tunnels? Are there more of them around there? First of all, I should go to the cabin and check it out. I'll leave early in the morning. A picture of the family cabin. Hmm, strange. What if I placed the cube here? My thoughts exactly, sonny boy. How was that? It's really dark. Ooh, cassette. Untitled tape, May 17th, 1974. Okay. Some more monster sounds. Alright, let's go grab the cube. Probably do this and then, uh. Oops. No, don't go up, you dingus. Switch over to some Dead by Daylight and save the rest of this run through for later. Hopefully, the cube is still safe in the box. It is. I kind of figured it was going to be gone. Ah, don't be a douche. guy's going to have cataracts and burn a hole in the ground? Oh. Oh. Uh, 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 oh, God. oh God. Why would I jump into it? No, I'm a cube. Uh, my head. Am I still alive? Uh, uh. Me cube. What's happening to me? Hmm. hmm. They don't want me going to the bathroom. Interesting. Whoa. Oh. What does this mean? What does this mean? Is that the question you ask? That's a dead body. Well, huh? Did 
Did I solve the lament configuration? Alright, it looks like I got a lot more exploring to go. So, I'm going to save here. And we will pick this up uh, next time. Because this looks like it's going to have quite a bit to go. But uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to do some Dead by Daylight.